there's power. Oh, hey. there's power. So much power. So Can you give him a power. wave up? It's power in the name, in the name of Jesus. Well, there's power. Oh, there's power. So much power. So much power. I know there's power in his name. In his name. See, churches, they don't want to, they, they don't want to do that. They, 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 don't, they don't want to go down there anymore. But I believe, I believe, I believe there's a remnant. I believe there's a church within a church. I believe there's a people within a people. I believe there's somebody today that says, I'm hungry, Pastor Keith, for the word of God. I'm hungry for the word that will change the lives of men and women again like it once did in days of old. Like the old Methodist, the old Baptist, the old Pentecostal, the old Episcopalian, all of them used to get out there and have a campground in the summertime, have a brush arbor meeting, and have them saved by the hundreds and then the thousands. But we've come away from that day because we're trying to compromise with the world and bring the world in the church. Honey, we need today to quit compromising and keep on preaching the power of resurrection. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is good tonight. Yes, sir. Just look at your neighbor and say, we're going to raise a standard around here this week. I mean, I mean yeah, yeah, you might say, yeah, yeah this, this is an old title. Yeah, it is. I, I just need to go back and get, get some of them old messages out again. Some of them things that we used to preach about. I ain't, I ain't want no new revelation. Because somebody got a new revelation. They ain't never done nothing with the old one they had yet. I mean, they left it laying somewhere in a corner. They want a new revelation to do a new thing. I, I want something that comes from God. I want an anointing. I want an anointing. I, I don't want somebody's idea of who God is. And I don't want Mr. Doolittle's doctrine degree upon I mean, I mean, I mean I've, I've, I've got a Bible college plaque I can hang on my wall, but that don't make anything. I, I, what I need tonight, I need an old-fashioned anointing that comes from God above. That's only birth out of your desire. To hear God and to see God move. Mm -hmm. But 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 the Paul was telling me about his 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 boy playing football last night. They went to but where, where'd y'all go? What, what Walford College? Is that was that where you went? And and and, and they, they playing football. His his the little kids played at halftime. And 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 it's and and everybody's out there cheering on their favorite team in in, in a deluge of downpour of rain. I mean, pouring down the rain, but they ain't got no problem watching a football game. I mean, it, it 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 can come the greatest snowstorm blizzard, and you better watch out. You ain't gonna keep them out of the stadium. But but if the weatherman says it's gonna snow next Sunday, on Monday they'll be calling. We gonna cancel church on Sunday. The weatherman giving a long range forecast that it's gonna snow. Huh? I, I, I mean, I'm just saying. But you let their favorite football team, honey, they'll 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 fight through the the blizzard. Just get me through the blizzard. I'm gonna go watch my favorite team. I'll sit out there with a snowsuit on if I have to. I'll take me a thermos of hot chocolate or coffee. I'll sit out there and brave the temperature. I'm gonna cheer my team on. Well, that's all right if you like football. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't putting down that. If you wanna do it, go ahead and do it. But if you're that determined to watch a football game, you ought to be double dog determined to get to the house of God and to serve him because he's the one that put life into you. Mm-hmm. Well, I ain't going to preach tonight, but you, you probably thinking I already am, but I ain't going to preach tonight. But I'm just telling you, we're we going to raise the standard this week. Uh, we're going to have some Holy Ghost camp meeting nights. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, 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 hope, I hope you ain't going to say, well, I'm tired, wore out. If you, if you do, I'm going to lay hands upon you. Suddenly. Uh-huh. 
Yeah, and pray later. God, we, 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 need, we need to shake off the heaviness that's took hold of the church today. I've told it, if I've told it once, I've told it a hundred times. When I, when I, when, 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 when I was younger, a teenager driving the church van, we'd, we'd have a revival and I always had to go two weeks and maybe more. And I remember driving the church van and taking them little old women home that was 80 and 90 years old, Sister Hollifield, little old Sister Hollifield. I mean, she's getting close to 90 years old and she'd be there every night. If it went to 10 or 11 o'clock at night, they didn't care. My Lord, they wanted to come back tomorrow night. We can't wait till tomorrow night. I, I remember even the older folks folks, as we were talking at lunch today, even way back there, the farmers would work 10 hours a day and they couldn't wait to get their horses tied up to get to the house of God that night to serve him. But um, we need to raise the standard. We, 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 we need to shake off the heavy bands. We, we need to quit letting the things and the cares of this life tear us down and keep us away from what God wants us to be. You that are watching, do we have, do we have any prayer requests? Bruce Blankenship. Brother Bruce, we're praying for you right now, brother. Father, in the name of Jesus. You see, Brother Bruce, you see the need that he has in his life. God, I'm asking for the power of your spirit to touch him tonight, God, in every area, Lord, that he has need of. In the name of Jesus, minister right now, God. Minister. Father, we praise you tonight. God, I thank you for what you've done tonight. We thank you for the songs ministry of Sister Betty Jean tonight, Father, the, 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 the word that come through the song tonight. We thank you for our brother's testimony tonight, God, God, that, 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 that he gave, Father. You, you said we overcome by the word of our testimony and the blood of the Lamb. God, we, when, when we hear the testimonies of people, Father, we rejoice for what you have done in their lives. And God, I'm asking you to minister to each one here tonight in the mighty name of Jesus, those that are watching God, minister to every need. And God, I'm asking that you would, you, would, you would touch each person. God, that we would, we would be at, at, at every service this week. God, every service this week, Lord. God, that we're going to raise the standard and we're going to let the devil know that he's not going to keep us tied down any longer. God, we're going to see, uh, our, mm, we're going to see, somebody said we're going to see the power of the Holy Ghost begin to move in our lives and our families and our homes like never before. Father, we thank you in Jesus' name for what you've done. Thank you for what you're going to do. And the church would say,